Hey, hi, in this video, we will see how to recover Azure Virtual Machine with using the backup point. So here in this video, we will focus on a PowerShell script which can help you to recover your virtual machine or create a new instance of virtual machine with using the existing backup. How to take the backup, how to set up the virtual machine. You know, in regards to these concepts, you do watch my previous video where I have explained on this from scratch to end and in detail with using PowerShell script as well. So once you are done with this, this is the video to continue, which is basically part two. So in this video, we will see how to recover Azure Virtual Machine uh, with using the existing backup point. So before I run this script and walk you through the script, what I do is you now I'm going to show you the, the Azure subscription. So this is the Azure subscriptions in this one. We have, uh, um, you know, the Azure site recovery vault. So this is the uh, recovery service vault, which we have created in this one. If you go here, so we have a one virtual machine, which is already backed up. So this is the virtual machine. Uh, let me go to that. Uh, so this is the, if you see that, this is the machine that got backed up and the last backup was been taken at this point. Uh, if you go on a view details, you can see that, you know, so this is the latest uh, recovery point. So for with using the console, you can do it, but with using the PowerShell, you know, this is something that, you know, I can tell you to how to do it programmatically as well. So this script will help you to design the script, but again, right? So at the production side, you might need to do the coding a uh, little bit of, um, you know, more idempotent, okay? So here uh, you can do a back now, you can, you know, so basically you can read back up the another one. Uh, you can actually restore it from here, recover the file, okay, or stop the backup. So you can do lot many things here. So now, since we have a backup and uh, before we, I start to create a new instance out of it, let me show you my virtual machine. So this is my virtual machine here. And this virtual machine, you know, is, is being taken backup. Now with using that backup, uh, if I go back to the resources, so we also have RG called backup RG. So in this one, we have a recovery point. So this is the recovery point, which we have seen, right? So with using this recovery point, uh, you know, you can, uh, so it has one recovery point with using this, uh, you can create the, or you can do a restoration. Now, how to do that with using PowerShell? That's what something we can see, uh, see quickly. So this is a script which I have created. Um, I'm going to run this script. And maybe if some error, we're going to go back and pause and try to solve it. But at the end, this script, this is the script you know, which can help you to recover. Uh, no problems. So basically, uh, no worries. This is the script. You know, I'm going to share it my um, GitHub repository and the GitHub repository link is being shared in this video description. You can find it from there and try to use it. So what I do is, you know, I'm going to run the commands by commands and we're going to see the output here so first command is basically get the recovery vault uh, with a certain name so this is the my recovery vault with the name called test vault which we have seen just now and it is sitting in in this resource group let's check you know what what does that variable contains now so if i run this command so this is basically got the recovery you know the vault now with using that variable i'm going to do a context now so this is the context i'm doing now so we set the context now with setting the you know with setting the context we're going to try to find the backup items programmatically. So to do that, let's do one more thing that is try to find out a container. So let's try to get the container. From that container, you can discover the uh, backup item. So this is the container, uh, you know, the uh, command which we have run just now. And it says that uh, there is a backup, right? So from that backup, you know, what we do is, uh, from that container, we will get a backup of, of particular type that is of type uh, Azure VM, right? So uh, in a particular backup container, you can keep a different types of backups. It could be of VM, it could be of DB, or it could be of anything that uh, Azure Site Recovery Vault, uh, you know, Azure Recovery uh, Service Vault supports basically. Uh, so let me run this command that is to find out an item uh, present underneath that container. So um, I just run that command. Uh, it's running very quickly. So this is the, so there is a one virtual machine or Azure VM, um, uh, you know, item is there in that one. We will use that backup item and try to recover the new machine. So so to so from that particular item what we do is we have to pick up the latest uh, you know the recovery point which we have seen in the screen okay so that is nothing but get a recovery point for a backup to do that you're going to run this command um, something like this so this is the command which is basically uh, get azure site a recovery backup uh, point uh, belongs to this particular item from the vault this is the vault id so remember that vault id is the mandatory parameter that you need to pass in so we're going to see the output uh, so this is the recovery point we have a recovery point id this one uh, recovery point type is you know app consistent belongs to the container this is something like azure vm container type is azure vm like that and then what we do is you know we're going to select that particular point now by using this command right that is using the using the pipe and after that short by object right and then descending and get the latest object like that so this is basically a coding trick uh, that you can use so whatever the output that you have got you know you are actually piping that 
and selecting the sorting the object by property called recovery point from that recovery point you know you are actually making it a descending order uh, and then selecting the top one which is basic so here currently we have only one recovery point so we're going to select that uh, you know easily so i have selected this particular point now um so we are so basically we selected this point now with using this point we start operation of recovery remember that to before you run this particular command that is az recovery service backup item vault id uh, recovery point that we have selected targeted resource group i'm using the same resource group and the storage account so this is the storage account which already there in my account all right and then um and targeted uh, you know the vm name so i'm going to create a new vm with this name okay so let me run this command and we will wait for the output hopefully it goes good if not then we're gonna gonna troubleshoot and try to make this command working so i'm gonna run this command so basically it says that you know um, it says that supply the value of following parameter storage account resource group name so it is asking me what is the storage account resource group name so this is my uh, resource group name i'm gonna give this name uh, looks like you know there is something like um, uh, you know there are few parameters are missing which i'm gonna add all those and try to rerun the command again so meantime i'm gonna go on a pass and try to get a right working command okay so after you know trying to troubleshoot this particular um, azure powershell command to restore the uh, backup item so i have figured out that and uh, you know we were supposed to provide multiple parameters to this particular uh, azure powershell command that is restore az recovery service backup we need to provide the backup id uh, uh, that is vault id we need to provide the recovery point uh, targeted resource group in which the machine has to be created storage account uh, targeted virtual machine name uh, targeted vnet name where it can be created resource group name targeted subnet and the storage account resource group name as well so after passing all these parameter you see that uh, the command got successfully uh, you know gone through it has started the recovery options it has started to recover the virtual machine and by creating a new machine I see that it has went successfully. So if I go to the my resource group um, again, and in that one here we have targeted to this my resource group as the target of uh, creation. And here you go right. So here we have the uh, virtual machine with the name called restored VM got created, and we have the uh, you know nick nick been created for that particular virtual machine. We have the uh, disk been created for that particular virtual machine. A public IP address is also been created for that particular machine, right? So uh, in total. Like you know, the recovery job has gone very uh, as expected. If you open this particular restored machine, remember that we have earlier we had only one machine that is called my VM, but now you have a, a restored VM, right? Uh, so the now earlier, if you have seen my previous video where I have shown you that a virtual machine been created with the IS service enabled in it. Now the restored machine should have also need to have that capability automatically installed in it. Okay, so how do we check that? whether it is that machine restored properly or not go to that particular machine which is restored go to the uh, you know here are the connect options and there is a public ip address if you hit that particular public ip address it should resolve right so it should resolve to a uh, ias let's see if that works okay so i'm going to go to the um, uh, go to the browser and try to browse this particular How to elevate this PowerShell script to restore your Azure VM with using the backup, right? So here we have seen very detailed level, like you know how to run the commands one by one, how to solve the you know the the uh, troubleshooting. That is, we run the you know the um, restore uh, command, but it was having a problem. We solved it. Now we see that you know the machine has been backed up. Uh, sorry, machine has been restored, and now the functionality of the machine is also restored as expected. All right. So with that note. Channel that would really encourage me a lot. With that note, thank you. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next video.